Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, shit. Ah. Most of us are terrified of bees, but some people play with them for fun. And amidst the eight and a half million people of New York City, bee populations have never been higher. All over the city, maybe even right next door or on your rooftop, beekeepers like Tom are taking care of millions of bees, tapping into the best honey you've ever tasted, despite the occasional sting. Wow, that is good. This is a day in the life of an urban beekeeper. It's 8 a.m. and despite all my better instincts, we are walking directly towards a ginormous beehive within walking distance of our apartment. How do you do around bees? Uh, well, when I was like five years old, I had a little tyke's bench that one time during a party I flipped over and there was a whole hive of bees behind it. And I got stung like 20 times, so oh. uh, I'm a little freaked out right now. <laughs> this is Tom, a wine and liquor salesman during the week, but a beekeeper with over a million bees on the weekends. He's taken us to the roof of a youth center in Queens to show us why the hell anyone would want to spend their day playing with bees. I've never had an issue of a bee getting in my hood, but many of my friends have. <laughs> that sounds like terrible. a nightmare. Suiting up. Gotta protect this. Girlfriend would not be happy. Actually, she would laugh a ton if I just came back with a swollen face and 30 bee strings. Should've worn socks, huh? Okay. Brian, so your man, ankles are dead. These ankles. Up on this roof alone, Tom has seven beehives. Probably 50 to 60,000 bees per hive. What is you that? You do the math. 350,000 bees on this yeah. roof? 350,000, <laughs> 400,000. <000. laughs> And that's important, because although bee populations are mysteriously dying across the world, bees are critical to our whole ecosystem. A third of all the food we eat is pollinated by honeybees. So if the honeybees disappeared, the shelves would have less good food on them. So in 2010, New York City legalized beekeeping. And since then, around 300 people like Tom have just kind of picked it up. This is my hobby. I work in the liquor industry. I'm a sales manager uh, for the largest liquor distributor in New York City. Uh, being in sales is always stressful. So some guys, some guys are going out on the weekends and they're golfing. You're coming up here and you're beekeeping. I'm playing with stinging insects, yeah. <laughs> Anytime you see a hive like this, that means up to 50,000 bees are flying around looking for nectar. And you have bees flying right now. And they're going out, they're uh, foraging, they're looking for food. It takes about one million flowers for bees to produce just one pound of honey, but it's worth it. Oh my god. That's... I zip up quick. That's the best honey I've ever tasted in my entire life. That tastes That's different amazing. from all other honey. You want to smoke a hive over there? I want to smoke a hive over there. Let's go by there. In general, honeybees are actually docile creatures that don't want to sting you. Except if you're oh, me. Oh, 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 I got, got one. Got one. Yeah. Ah, 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 I got got. Ah. Ooh, I hope you don't die. Is so, he gonna uh, die? I think I'm just gonna oh, jump off. I'll this keep thing. the camera going. So generally, when you see honey bees, you don't you don't need to be afraid. We're standing in front of an open hive. Yeah, there's 350,000 bees up here, and I only got stung once. Not bad. All right. Let's go down to this. Since picking up the hobby just six years ago, Tom's got 26 hives in seven locations around Queens. Over a million bees that he bounces between every weekend. This one's at a community garden right in between a whole bunch of buildings. I'm going to hood the F up. So these bees, they fly three miles and they know exactly how to get home? Yep. When they first come out of the hive, they do something called an orientation flight, where they, they fly, and some of these bees are doing that now. They fly and they face the hive and they keep going zigzagging around and they're looking at their surroundings and they're setting their GPS, basically. Tom got into bees because, just like us, they scared him. You should always do stuff that scares you. And, and trust me, being around 50,000 stinging insects is scary. But he very quickly realized this hobby was worth it. What was the feeling like when you first tasted your own bees' honey? Oh. I pulled out a frame like I did with you guys, and I saw honey on it, I dipped my finger in it, and it was warm, it was a warm day. And it was just like, oh my God, this is the best honey I've ever had. And every time I taste the honey directly from the hive, it's the best honey I've ever had. It's me and my bee friends. Oh, and goodbye. Eat it. <laughs> the third stop of our day is on a rooftop right under the massive Queensboro Bridge. Check this out. We're almost 200,000 cars zoom past every day. Somehow, up here, under the noise of all the traffic, Tom finds his calmest moments of the week. It's, it's funny. 
you know, you're thinking it's like really stressful and you have all these bees flying around you. I, I'm really happy when I'm doing it. It calms you down. I, my job is high pressure and when you have your hands and your head inside a hive with 50,000 stinging insects, trust me, you're not worrying about the number you have to make on Monday. To offset the costs, every week, Tom and his wife hand bottle jars of honey. They're hyper localized, so you can see exactly which zip code your honey came from. So this is one pound of honey, which took one million flowers to make this honey. And now, Tom's Honey is used by a local brewery for their honey wheat beer, which is always a perfect way to end a day of beekeeping. And then went off and over. Wow. Right at, right this is delicious. And I know where those bees come from. One of them stung Brian. So that's a day in the life of a New York City beekeeper. Oh my God, there's a 20 on you. <laughs> I'm Tom, these are my bees. Rally on! Oh my God. <laughs> ah, I got got. You got me leg. Go on without me, boys. All right, we'll just leave you. He's got me leg. Oof.